Hey everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I am Mrs. Easley and I'm a Texas teacher and I also make videos for third up through seventh grade so far for Easy Math with Miss Easley. So you'll notice that most of my videos are made for the students, but I really wanted to come on here and make one for teachers today because I really got inspired by going to the movies this weekend and I saw one of my students' favorite movies in the theater right now. And if you're teaching third through fifth graders right now, then chances are you've heard one of them call out, Chicken Jockey! As we're leading up to the star test, so just in a couple of days, we might as well embrace that craziness and turn it into a math review game. So as I'm going over my resource today, you can be looking along with me I've linked the third, fourth, and fifth grade review games that I created in, down in the description. Okay, so I've pulled up my Chicken Jockey third grade review game because that's what I'm teaching this year, but you can feel free to look at the fourth or fifth grade video as well. I just thought this would be a good thing to start with. So what you'll do is you'll send a copy of this to each student and the, you know, I'm on the, the title slide that will get them excited about the movie and that we're doing a game that involves that movie. And then they'll look at the directions on slide two. It just tells them that if they answer the questions correctly, they're gonna follow directions and get their baby zombie to the chicken. And that's what a chicken jockey is. So if you haven't seen the movie, when a, when the baby zombie gets on the chicken, the main character yells out, chicken jockey. <laughs> so that's the whole point here. And then anytime it tells them that anytime they need to return to the game board, which they're gonna see in a second, they just have to click any torch that they see. So that makes it easy. Okay, so now here is the game board that they're gonna see, and there's a start. You'll see that there's the, the things you can move around on the screen are the characters. And like, for example, the, the part that says start right here, you can't move that around. So I've left that kind of locked into that spot. But you can move this baby zombie. So, and it makes it pretty user friendly for them because what I do is after each question, I tell them what to do with the character. So if they're just following those directions, it's really easy for them to do. And then down at the bottom, it says, click the questions above, start with one. So let's try that. So they would click one. Everything on here is a button. If they have any trouble, like if they're clicking on the actual number one, they might be thinking, oh, this isn't a button, but you can just tell them to click away from it and then click not right on the number, but close to it. And then it'll take them to the question. So I've on purpose chosen math teaks that are most commonly found on the star test. Now, if you're in a different state, these are still gonna be worthwhile because a lot of our objectives are so similar but especially those Texas teachers, this will really make you happy that I made sure to include the most commonly found questions. So they'll answer, so let's just show you this one. So for example, the answer is this third choice, and these are all buttons. So if they choose the, the wrong answer, it will take them to a screen that tells them that they're incorrect, but also gives them a hint so they can go back and try again. So the whole point is to try to get to the finish line at your own pace. So that's what I like about this game that I made. Um, they're they're kind of just competing with themselves. So it says, keep trying. Try composing each answer choice to see what's what its standard form is. So I'm giving them a hint that might help them solve it correctly the second try. And um, what I mentioned earlier is the torches always take you back to the game board. So there we go. Makes it pretty easy. So let's go back to, let's pretend like we're a student who got it wrong the first time. 
and then we got the correct answer the second time and it will tell us that oh we're correct and what to do with the characters on the screen so it says make your baby zombie jump from start to number one so let's go back to the game board and follow that direction so I want to make this jump over to number one all right, so that's the end of my screen recording, and I hope that you find this useful and that your students enjoy it and that you are like me and you're just going to embrace the craziness of this movie and the quotes that come with it and just have fun with your students right before the star test. Have a great week and a great rest of your school year. See you next time.